Good morning, everyone. I'm Leanne Potter, and I have the pleasure of working at the Library of Congress in our Office of Learning and Innovation. And it is my job this morning to help open the National Book Festival 2019 Purple Stage. Can you tell it's the Purple Stage? Now, we have to do a few things to get the Purple Stage open. I have to first put on my purple coat. And then you all have to repeat after me. You ready? Give me a P. OK, now i got to say this again. I want everybody in the exhibit hall and in the convention center to know that the purple stage is open. So we're going to be as loud as we possibly can, OK? Something tells me you guys are good at that. OK, all right, OK. So give me a P. P. Ooh, that was much better. Give me a U. U. Give me an R. Give me a P. P. Give me an L. L. Give me an E. e. Give me an S. S. Give me a T. T. Give me an A. S. Give me a G. E. Give me an E. e. What do those letters spell? Purple stage. Woohoo! Yes, purple stage. We have officially opened the purple stage. <laughs> now it is my pleasure to welcome our first speakers to the Purple Stage, and they are Jennifer L. Holm and Matthew Holm. First, a bit about Jennifer. Jennifer is the New York Times best-selling author of The 14th Goldfish and several other highly acclaimed novels, including the Scott O'Dell Award-winning Full of Beans and three Newbery Honor books, Our Only May Amelia, Penny from Heaven, and Turtle in Paradise. With Matt, she is co-creator of the beloved and best-selling graphic novels, including Baby Mouse, Squish, and Sunny Side Up series. Their new book is entitled The Evil Princess vs. The Brave Knight, published by Random House. Now a little bit about Matt. Matthew Holm is also a New York Times best-selling author and illustrator who has created more than 35 books for children. He is the co-creator of a number of graphic novels, including the Eisner Award-winning Baby Mouse series and Squish and Sunny Side Up. He recently co-wrote and illustrated the middle grade novel Marvin and the Moths, and his new book with Jennifer is The Evil Princess and The Brave Knight. Now, how many of you noticed that Jennifer and Matt have a few things in common? including their last name. Did you know that Jennifer and Matt are sister and brother? That's pretty cool, isn't it? I think it's very cool. So not only do they create books together, they will also be presenting together here on the Purple Stage, and they will be signing books together between 10.30 and 11.30 this morning in signing line number six. Please help me welcome Jennifer and Matt. Start from the podium and then, yeah. It makes sense we're on the purple stage because we're a royal couple. That's right. <laughs> or I actually, dress, dress royal siblings. <laughs> so I am Jenny Holm. I am the older, wiser, and bossier sister of? I am Matthew Holm. I am the younger and more talented brother. <laughs> Annoying little brother, <laughs> I would like to clarify. And we are so excited to be here. And they are going to, they're going to put some fancy microphones on us so that we look like um, Taylor Swift and the, the Hulk, maybe. <laughs> it's the royal treat. I'll just hold it. Okay. Yep. I feel so fancy. I know. Yeah. Well, 
We are attached to like astronauts. To so astronauts wait, we should go. go the other way. The other way. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All those rock stars make it look so easy. Who knew there were all these chords? Mick Jagger, we are not. Am I too close to the mic? No, that's just the thing. That's just here? Yeah. Well, we are so excited to be here today. And I'm yeah. going to see if I can practice my clicker. Let's see, does it, which way do you think I click? That way? The arrow? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yep, OK. Oh, you got it? OK. Here we go. It's all this technology. See, technology wasn't a problem back in the days when, when people lived in castles and things. I know. Or back in the days of like the 1970s when we grew up. Which is when we grew up. So <laughs> we have made a lot of books together. And these are some of the books. Somewhere? Oh, where are they? Oh. This is way too high tech for us. Here are some <laughs> of the books we've made. We've, we've made the Baby Mouse series and the Squish series. We made Sunny Side Up. We did some board books. Uh, you know, I'm sunny, I'm grumpy, I'm silly. And everywhere we go, it doesn't matter what our newest book is yep. or what we've made, they always ask us the same question. What is it like to work with your brother or? Or work with your sister. Actually, the first thing they usually ask is, so you guys are married? No. And we're like, ah, gross, no. <laughs> and we say, no, he's my annoying little brother, of course. Um, so yeah, you know, we are, here's, a, here's proof of our brother and sistership. Aww. And we were pretty typical kids, you know. We chilled out in trash cans, mostly in, during our childhood. That's me in the top trash can. That's Matt in the bottom trash can. <laughs> And uh, Matt was pretty annoying. He spent most of my childhood sitting on top of me in the kiddie pool. Got to sit somewhere. I mean, yeah. you know. And you know what? I don't let him do that anymore, you guys. I sit on top of him now. Yeah. Revenge. So thinking about our childhood, we kind of wondered, what would it be like? Yeah, dun, what dun, would it dun. be like if we didn't grow up like, like we did? But what if we grew up in a castle? Yeah. And so that was kind of the beginning of our new book, The Evil Princess versus The Brave Knight. I feel like we need to get some costumes. We got we got to get into get into character. Yes, One I second. need to get into character. Are Can you, you going to be it? able to reach? I'll reach yours. Okay. All right. One for you. One for you. Quick costume change. <laughs> this is very serious, you guys. <laughs> Can you get it? I can get it, I think. Yes. It's Velcro. We're OK. <laughs> There's no knots involved. <laughs> there we go. Where? Totes Gorge. How do I look? Yeah, I stole it from my daughter. She'll <laughs> never know it's gone. <laughs> so so we, this, the book is about siblings who live in a castle. Yeah. And you know, we kind of grew up in a castle. Right. This was ye old home castle <laughs> over there. Does that look like a castle? No. No, no it's kind of a suburban castle. <laughs> fancy carriage out front. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it was a very fancy carriage. And you know, when I was a kid, I, of course, like many young ladies, I dreamt of being a princess. Oh. And I didn't know exactly what kind of princess I wanted to be. You know, should I be pretty? Nah. Should I be icy? Mm. <laughs> or Cinderella-y? Mm. No. I decided it would be fun to be evil. Ooh. Really, none of the other stuff. And, <laughs> and Matt, of course, he wanted to be a knight. Except when he was a kid, he did not look very knight-like. This is Matt as a kid. He pretty much spent his entire childhood sleeping on bookshelves. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I was just guarding it from dangerous book-eating monsters. I don't know. Maybe you were Laying in ambush. Maybe you were just weird, Matt. Maybe <laughs> you were just weird. And uh, when you thought of being a knight, what kind of a knight did you want to be? There's so many different kinds. I could be a strong knight. I could be a weird green ogre knight like Shrek. I could be a handsome knight. I don't know, but no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> so, uh, so we decided we would each be a character. So I'm going to be the evil princess. He's going to be the brave knight. We have I would some... be the. We have to have the, the reveal. Yeah, we. 
the reveal. Oh, sorry. You, yes, the you brave, brave knight. Brave, brave knight. Yeah. And of course, there are other characters in our book that are inspired by our lives. We needed a. We need every castle needs what? Meow. 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 A cat. Meow. Meow. And this cat <laughs> was inspired by my cat, who looks like that. Meow. Aww. <laughs> and of course, you know. Somebody's got to watch those kids in the castle. That's right. There's a parent. It's the magic mirror. We're not exactly saying who that magic mirror was based on, but... Uh, mom. Kind of looks like our mom. <laughs> so we thought we would read through the book with you guys, and we're going to need a little help from the audience. Yep. So you want to take them through what they're going to have to do? Sure. Now... The brave knight and the evil princess, you know, when they do their thing, when, when the evil princess is being evil, you know, she says, that's what an evil princess does. Like when I drop a snake on him? Yeah. Do I feel sorry? No, because no, she's an evil princess. So what do I say? Let's practice. That's, that's what, what an, an evil, evil princess, princess does. does. And when... When a knight, Matt, the knight is trying to be brave, and of course he'll do something crazy like try to rescue me. Right. But she doesn't want to be rescued. I don't want to be rescued. <laughs> I'm, the I'm, knight will say, that's what a brave knight does. Shall we practice it? Ready? Yeah. That's, that's what, what a brave, brave knight, knight does. does. All right. I think we're ready. Bum, bum, bum. The evil princess. Versus the, the brave knight. And our story begins. There once lived an evil princess and a brave knight. They shared a castle. They shared a manky cat. But there were issues. Uh-oh, looks like it's all gonna go wrong. <gasps> Trip! Ah, boom! The evil princess wasn't sorry. What do we say? That's what an evil princess does. Their magic mirror said calm must prevail. So unfair. Looks like the magic mirror sent them to their rooms. Mm. The evil princess used the time to practice being evil. She sat on her evil throne. I need fluffier pillows. She reached, she searched her library for inspiration. 101 spells to torment annoying brothers. Her subjects trembled at her power. Zap! Kablam! <sighs> I'm not very good at magic yet. <laughs> I'm young. She soon realized it wasn't much fun being evil by herself. Meanwhile, the brave knight got down to the business of being brave. He protected the castle. The brave knight draws his sword. He battled fierce monsters. Ah! Not very brave, is he? He's, he's not always very brave. And we say, that's what, what a, a brave, brave knight, knight does. does. But of course, you know, he's scared. So he's like, D -d -d that's what a brave knight d -d does. He soon realized it wasn't much fun being brave by himself. Their magic mirror said they could come out of their rooms if they promised to play nicely. Sure. Sure. Meow. <laughs> but it was boring. Kind of boring. They're just playing by themselves. We need a quest. Good idea. It didn't take long to find one. There's a damsel in distress across the moat. Although, honestly, the damsel was perfectly comfortable. The brave knight leapt into action. He dodged the hungry dragons in the moat. He freed the fair maiden from her prison. And he delivered her to safety. <gasps> That's, That's what, what a, a brave, brave knight, knight does. does. <gasps> Shove. Ah! Splash. That's, That's what, what an, an evil, evil princess, princess does. does. She wasn't sorry. Definitely not. <gasps> Yank. Yank. <laughs> he wasn't sorry either. Uh, but their magic mirror was not amused. Who made this mess? <gasps> hmm? Hmm. Hmm. 
It didn't seem like a good time to be evil or brave. <gasps> ma, 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 ma. Who's that? Who could they blame this on? <gasps> that cat, cat did, did it! Meow? <laughs> <laughs> they still had to clean up the bathroom. The brave knight volunteered to get fresh towels from the laundry room. That's, That's what, what a brave, brave knight, knight does. does. And the evil princess knew what she had to do to restore balance to the kingdom. And she wasn't sorry. <laughs> had to be a little evil. And that is the end. Bum, bum, bum. Woo. Woo. Nice. Drawing. Yeah. So we have a little time left, and we thought we'd do some, I feel like we should do some evil drawing. Mm. Who has a good idea of? You mean an evil idea. An evil idea. We need a volunteer from the audience who has an evil idea. Who has an evil idea? You want to come up? Come on up. Why don't you come up on the side of the stage? Here. Nice. Get my cord out of the way. Why don't you stand there? What is your name? All right, Abby. Now, we've got the evil princess. She's sitting here. She's been thinking all day about how to torture her brother, how to make the world a worse place. What could she do? What's an evil thing the evil princess could do? She could feed him a banana because bananas are disgusting. You know what? My, <laughs> my son would totally agree with that. He thinks that bananas are, in fact, evil. Um, I, I mean, maybe even, what else? How can we make the banana even worse? Uh, she'd wear nerdy glasses. The banana? So, <laughs> a banana wearing glasses. It's not something you see every day. Well, and so maybe, maybe like the, the brave knight is chained up or something and being force fed this banana. All right. All right. It's going to be crazy. All right. So we've got the brave knight here. He's sweating a little. He looks very nervous. And he's got a whole bunch of ropes across him here, <laughs> tying him up. He's tied to the bed. He's tied to the bed. So he's got a comfortable pillow at least, right? Yeah, you know, <laughs> evil but classy. <laughs> it's a fine evil establishment. With only the best linen. It, it, it's a royal. A royal evil establishment. <laughs> there he is with his boots and his chain mail. And meanwhile, the princess. Has an evil banana. She has an evil banana. Maybe she can have it on like a big long fishing pole that she's dangling over top <laughs> of him. She doesn't want to touch the banana. <laughs> right, she doesn't even want to touch the banana. Okay, while he's drawing, who here, who here feels like they're an evil princess or an evil knight? Nice. Where are, the bra where are my brave friends? Where are the brave friends? It's kind of 50-50. 50-50? Oh. No, mostly. Who's not evil or brave? Who's, <laughs> who's just confused? <laughs> okay. Who feels like the manky cat? Wait, it's, <laughs> it's, only, it's only 9.30, parents. They're, they're brave now, but I'm telling you, around 3 o'clock, they're going to be evil. <laughs> And here is the banana. Evil, evil banana. With which glasses. Which said has glasses. It's got big, thick frame glasses. Anything but a banana. He's glad to do this. <laughs> and we need some dialogue. What does our brave knight say? Does he, who, who can give us a suggestion? What can he say? Anybody have a good idea? Yes, what does he say? What? I'm allergic. I'm allergic. <laughs> no. Oh, it's getting dark up here. <laughs> I'm allergic to bananas. <laughs> All right. And maybe she can say, I'm allergic to you. To brothers. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nice. Okay, why don't you sign it, Matt, and we'll have nice. our, our helper here sign it. 
Could you sign it for me, Abby? <laughs> Excellent. Can, can we give Miss Abby a big round of applause? Excellent. Oh, wait, wait hang Abby, on. Here you go. Take this with you. Although, watch out, it is sticky at the top. This is actually the most challenging part of anything. Not the drying, not the talking, tearing that off in one piece. All right, don't sell it on Thank eBay. You. <laughs> All right, we have time for one or two questions. Does anybody have a question about how to be evil or how to be brave? <laughs> or about who is the wiser sibling, perhaps? Up, oh, over in the stripes there. Yep. Oh, or are you just stretching? Are oh, you just stretching? <laughs> what is your question, friend? You want to come up to the microphone? Go for it. You can tilt it down to you. You can jump up and you can, down. You look like you could. You want to pull it down? Or just come up close and you tell wanna, us. You want to come up? Ah, do you need a weapon to be a knight, or do you just need armor to be a knight? Age-old question. I think you really just need the right attitude to be a knight. Yeah. You know, you just have to be like willing to charge in and rescue people, whether they're even aware that they need to be rescued. I agree. You know, you know, because weapons break, for instance. Yeah. My Nerf sword broke, and I had to super glue it. So. Yeah. <laughs> we have another question. You want to come up here? You want to try the microphone and give it a shot? You want to tilt it down so it, it reaches your. You got it. There we go. This is a question for Matthew. Ah. There you go. I was just wondering, yes. do you still think that the pen is stronger than the sword? Oh, oh. wow. Who's raising this child? <laughs> Nicely wow. done. Is the pen mightier than the sword? I would say so because, you know, you can draw your sister any way you like when you have a pen. Yeah. But you know what? <laughs> The sword is stronger than the pencil because the pencil breaks. That's true, yes. <laughs> it's a whole hierarchy. Yeah. It's like rock, paper, scissors. Exactly. <laughs> well, you guys have been an absolutely amazing audience. And thank you for having us. We're going to be signing, I think, at 10... 10.30. 10.30-ish. <laughs> Somewhere here. In, at line six, I believe they said. Line six. So. All right, have a great book festival. Thank you, guys. <laughs>